Hello everyone, yay math. All right, so circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. You may also think of circumference as the perimeter of a circle. Why do they call it circumference and not perimeter? Honestly, I don't know. Um, now, personally, I always had trouble remembering which formula is area and which formula is circumference. Um, and then I learned this kind of neat trick. So circumference is like the crust of a pizza. And crust is made of pizza dough. The crust distance around the pizza is made of pizza dough. C is equal to pi times D. The crust is made of pi dough. Yes, it is silly, and yes, some of you that's going to help be helpful to you, and that's going to work. All right, so these first ones, very simple, very straightforward. Find the circumference of each circle. So circumference is just pi times diameter. So we could just write this actually 18 pi. That's perfectly fine. However, we can also use our calculator and be like, hey, 18 times pi is 56.54. Same thing. Cool. Um, the next one, well, we got the radius here. So to find the diameter, I'm going to have to double that. So the diameter is 8. So the circumference is going to be pi times 8. And we could just write this as 8 pi, or you can actually use your calculator to multiply it out. And you get 25.13, I believe. There we go. Looking good. Uh, the next one, same sort of thing. Circumference is going to be uh, 8.2 times 2 times pi. Because this will give me the diameter. So 16.4 pi. That's an acceptable answer, or if you actually multiply it out, 16.4 times pi, 51.52. There we go. Moving on. The circumference of this is 14 pi. We've got to find the radius. Well, I'm going to use my formula. Circumference equals pi D. I know this circumference is 14 pi, so 14 pi, pi times diameter. If I divide both sides by pi, well, that's easy. I'm just down to 14. So the diameter is 14, but the radius is going to be 14 divided by 2, so the radius is going to be 7. Next one, same sort of thing. I'm going to do circumference equals pi times diameter. 50 equals pi times diameter. Divide both sides by pi. So the diameter is going to be 15.915. And then the radius would be half of that. So I'm going to divide that by 2. 7.957. All right, moving on. How many degrees are shaded? Well, I've got this right here. Um, each one of these, 360, there's eight pieces, divide by eight. That's going to be 45. Let me see, how did I, how did I figure that out? Well, one of these is 90. Half of 90 is 45. So 
45 degrees, but I've got three of them. So it's going to be three times 45, which is, that's 135 degrees. The other way to do it, though, is just say, hey, 3 eighths of 360. And same thing here. This is going to be one third of 360. And that's going to be 120 degrees. That's 120 degrees shaded. One half of 360 is 180 degrees. Now that makes sense. This one you can tell just by looking at it, but one fourth of 360 is 90 degrees. Down here, what fraction of the circle is shaded? Okay, well, that's 45 degrees. That's 45 out of 360. Now, if you're one of those people that's like, my middle school teacher told me I have to reduce. First, your middle school teacher lied to you. You don't always have to reduce, but it's helpful. I actually don't like to reduce that, but if you really want to, we can reduce and call it 1 8th. This one? It's 240 degrees out of 360, which does reduce to 2 thirds. This is 180 out of 360, which is 1 half. And 90 out of 360, which is 1 fourth. So now, like the last video, we're going to try to figure out this formula on our own without actually me into telling you the formula. So the length of the arc is how far it is from here to here. Now how far that is, well, I don't know offhand, but I do know I can find the circumference of the whole thing. The length from here to here is just part of the circumference. Now I know circumference is equal to pi times diameter. Well, if the radius of this is 6, then the diameter is going to be 12, so I'm going to get 12 pi, and if you're one of those people that's like, I want it, I want it worked out, sure, 12 times pi, 37.6991. Now, how much of this circle do I have? Well, it's one-fourth of the circle, because it's 90 out of 360. So I could just take this and divide by 4, but what I'm actually going to do is the length of AB is 1, I'm going to multiply by 1 fourth instead. 1 fourth of 37.6999, oh, or I can write it 1 fourth of 12 pi, which is going to be 3 pi. So I can take this. Multiply it by 1 fourth, 9.42. Let's check 3 times pi. Same thing, 9.42. Fantastic. On this one, we're going to do the same sort of thing. This is... 60 out of 360 degrees. Well, that's going to be 1 sixth. And as long as it says I have to change it to 1 sixth, I can leave it 60 out of 360. That's fine. But if I'm finding the length of the arc, I'm going to take the circumference times whatever fraction we have. So the circumference of this thing is going to be now let's see, the diameter is going to be 24, so 24 times pi is the circumference. And then what fraction of the circle do I have? I, it is 60 out of 360 degrees. Now if you're one of those people that's like, we got to reduce that, sure, you can if you want to. That's 1 sixth. And if you're one of those people that's like, hey, what's 24 pi? Now let's see here. 24 times pi, 75.398. If I multiply those, which is really just dividing by 6, 
Now we could also do it the other way where it's okay, 24 times pi times 60 divided by 360. Same thing either way. Now I could also say, hey, 24 pi times 1 sixth, well, 24 divided by 6 is just 4 pi. Both those are correct. So what we, ha so what we have going on here is, just like in, the, in my other video, the arc length formula is the fraction of the circle that we need, the fraction times the circumference. That's the arc length formula. Fraction of the circle times the circumference. Now, how do you get that fraction? You can do degrees out of 360 and then the circumference. You can use pi d, pi times diameter, or you can use 2 pi r. There's lots of different ways you can simplify this, but the big one here I want you to memorize is where it comes from. The fraction times the circumference. That's how we find the length of an arc. So if we do that up here, the fraction of the circle is going to be 150 out of 360 degrees. Then the circumference of the circle is going to be, well, the radius is 8, so the diameter is going to be 16. So it's going to be 16 pi. And we can reduce this if we want to. We can divide both those by 10, get 15 over 36. I can actually divide both those by 3. You get 5 over 12 times 16 over pi. I can divide this by 4 and get 3. Divide this by 4 and get 4. So I actually get 20 pi over 3. That is the correct answer. But if you're one of those people that says, hey, we need to do this as a decimal, that's fine. Quick mental math here. 3 0.14, just a little bit bigger than 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the answer should be something really close to 20. So if we do 20 times pi divided by 3, 20.94, that's pretty close to 20. And that also works. So how do we find the length of an arc? You're going to take whatever fraction of the circle it is, and we get that by degrees over 360, or just by looking at the picture. we be like, hey, that's one-eighth of the whole thing. Okay. So the, whatever fraction of the circle it is times the circumference. Thanks for watching.